Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the latest interview questions that were asked in this company. Thanks to the subscriber who has you know, shared us these questions. Now let us get started without wasting much time. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the first question that was asked was this, tell me about yourself. And for this, the draft version that I have created is something like this. Okay, so we can always talk about you know what kind of work we have done. I know what were our core responsibilities, you know, and what type of challenges you have faced and what is your learning. So if you're talking about this, that should be, you know, sufficient. But uh, this is the draft version. Like say, we can tell always still, like I have so and so years of experience as a Tableau developer where I've worked on creating dashboards to help business make better decisions. Okay, I'm currently working with whatever the company that you want, I have taken a sample name irrespective. Okay, so this is a general example uh, name I have taken, where I have designed and maintained dashboards using Tableau's advanced features like calculated fields and parameters. So here you can also talk about what kind of metrics you have implemented, like your parameter actions, your YTD, your you know year over year growth, or any specific thing that you have done that you can always talk. So then I have also good knowledge of SQL, which I want to ensure. Or if it, if this looks, uh, what do you call, bookish, you can tell that, you know, I've used SQL uh, to bring the data from you know, multiple systems. I've written custom SQLs and all. So that gives an interviewer an understanding that, okay, you have used SQL as well to bring in the data. I have worked on different types of projects. So this will give an exposure, like, you know, what what was your exposure? to like say sales project or you know banking domain all of that here it, it includes sales marketing and operating dashboards okay so this is like a pretty generic statement so you can prolong this to add you know your role day-to-day -day activity uh your metrics that you have created SQL stuff you have used. To get the data. Okay, so try to have it for at least five minutes. Okay, so that you know, it will be very convenient. So if you need any help on this, you can always connect with me. Next is type of data sources you have worked on. Okay, this is again, very straightforward question. So you can talk about different data sources you had exposure to. So like say you can talk about, you know, if you have worked on Snowflake, if, if you have worked on Teradata, if you have worked on Redshift, you know, you have worked on Athena, or it can be as simple as CSV, or, you know, you it can be your cube files. It can be your spatial files, anything, whatever the, you know, data sources you have worked on or whatever the data sources that you have exposure on, you can write them in your resume and you can also speak about them in the interview. Because maybe in terms of data sources, if I speak, like say this is Snowflake, Teradata, Redshift, pulling the data might be very simple or common in all of them. But how we connect to Snowflake might be a little different, like how you establish a connection, like what kind of uh, drivers I need to install. Same for Teradata, Ripsheet, that process might be a little different, but writing the query and getting the data might be like 90% very same. Okay, again, CSV, cube files and all, it is a little different. If you have exposure, you can talk about how data looks like in cube files or CSV files or spatial files. Okay. So next is how do you use dual access in Tableau and why? So when do we use dual access basically? So when, suppose if I am going to take a region here in my view and I'm taking my sales here. Okay, this is why, this is my one measure and one axis, okay? So if I'm trying to drop my profit here and bringing that into my view, I have two separate axes for each of the measure that I have created, right? If at all, I want to merge this into a common axis, 
then that is when we use the concept of dual axis here you click on this now you have two measures under one axis you see here one is the axis here another one is this but the first step that you need to ensure is you are synchronizing the axis click on this and synchronize the axis so now you have two axes or two measures you are trying to show so under this situations you can always use dual axis concept or we can also use a dual axis concept to create some dummy variables okay to create some maybe some advanced charts so there are different possibilities so uh, you know you can write down that or you can talk about that in interview next is what is parameter and when it is used so what is parameter basically parameter is uh, something that you want to create or you want to pass a value during run time during run time if at all you want to pass a value to your dashboard or to any metric that you are creating you can use parameters so let's say they are dynamic in nature okay dynamic in nature let's see there are multiple use cases of parameters so here maybe i want to see profit instead of sales and i want that to be dynamic i want my view to be static okay in that situation also i can do i can use parameters okay so there are multiple scenarios that are available on parameters that you can always refer to okay so next is how to change filters in second view when it when it when we apply them in the first view view okay so this fifth and sixth one types of filters in tableau and explain each of them so this is something very important in terms of understanding tableau as well so if at all you want to learn a detail then you can definitely watch this video that i have created this complete end to end training on master so i've talked about every type of filter that is available with the use case here okay so we can refer so it's a one hour video that is available on only on filters topic so coming back to the topic so here okay in short if at all i want to uh, explain we can talk about filters in generic means restricting data right we all know then we can talk about data source filters if at all we want to apply that on the scope of data that we have we have identified and we want that to be applied on the entire workbook then we can use data source filter then we have extract filters if at all we want to apply filter on the extract that we have created then we can use extract filters if at all you want to limit your data to a particular worksheet then we can use normal filters if at all we want to you know give the end user to play with that filter then we have a quick filters this is visible to the end user whereas the normal filter that you are trying to apply is not visible to the end user next we have a uh, sharing filter if at all you want to share the filter across multiple sheets that are available in the workbook then you can use the concept of a sharing filter so the answer for above is a sharing filter so all you need to do is you know take uh, like say this year of order date is there click on this and if i apply to worksheets selected worksheets you can do and you can apply to whatever the worksheets you want or you can click on this you know apply to worksheets you can use selected worksheets option only this or all using this data source or all using this related data source so there are four types that you can share the filter through okay next we have after sharing filter we have cascading filter if at all you want to sync your drop downs when we have multiple filters in view that is cascading filter okay next seventh one is a context filter a filter on a filter here okay context filter next is sometimes you might also create uh, filter the data from the view and then we can categorize them as header level filter or cell level filter okay this is something that you need to remember so apart from this we have another filter called as a user filter if at all you want to play with you know restricting the data based on you know access or based on sign in if at all you want to play 
all that will come under user filter so there are this type of filters that you can uh, talk or explain to him him if he is asking you in the interview okay so this will be one lengthy you know answer that you can always give if you are getting this type of question okay next is a type of shells in tableau again very pretty basic question that was asked so page shelf we have filter shelf we have marked shelf we have rows and columns so these are the five shelves that are available in tableau so you can explain the purpose of each shelf here rows and columns are used to organize the data like i can put my rows here or wherever i want and i can create my view filter shelf is to restrict the data filter the data okay marks shelf is to customize or optimize or increase the readability of the data so you can talk about all of this and their purpose if he's asking you this question next one was you know a sql question very uh, basic question i think was asked what is where condition okay uh, the user or subscriber whoever has shared as this question remember only this so i'm sharing you the uh, the questions uh, i hope you have learned something from this if it does don't forget to give your valuable key uh, feedback in the comment section see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day